The Texas Congressman Randy Weber right now joins us on the phone. This is your district, isn't it, sir? I mean, what are your thoughts tonight? It, it is, Connell, and I can tell you, having grown up on the Gulf Coast, having the first three, first three coastal counties from Louisiana coming down the border there, my heart is absolutely wrenched over this. This is a heart-wrenching situation. The pain and the suffering uh, that my wife and I have witnessed all across, we've been going to shelters and meeting with people, talking to people, ministering to people, if you will. This is just unbelievable. Hillary was just reporting to us that in her drive, either last night or I believe early this morning <clears throat> from the Houston suburbs to try to get as close as she could get to Port Arthur, she wasn't even able to do it. She was um, able to get just to the outskirts. What about the people who are, who are in there? We couldn't have gotten them out. Uh, was there any movement to maybe try to get them out yesterday? Or Well, you know, you couldn't hardly preposition assets. Uh, Connell, because you didn't know where all of the rain was going to fall, what watershed it was going to be in. Uh, I've been in contact with the county judges, actually of all three counties, county commissioners, talked to the mayors. Um, and so we knew that uh, the place was getting landlocked. Now, you, she mentioned Air Force, Navy, some other people. Their Marines are on the way with amphibious uh, vehicles, about 54 Marines. Uh, we're working fast and furiously to get everybody out. Of course, you're seeing an outpouring of neighbor helping neighbor in Texas. you got 11 Texas. Oh, yeah, that's uh, been unbelievable. Be that really has. All you week we've you. seen it, and we've been able to show a lot of it. Thanks to our reporters, we've seen some remarkable stories of, um, of people and their generosity. Uh, but there must be some real worry about these people, Congressman, right? I mean, um, what are they supposed to do if they're still in there tonight? What, what would be the message to somebody who, um, who doesn't know if somebody's going to come get them? I mean, there's a lot of people still in there in Port Arthur and Beaumont. Well, hang on. Port Arthur and Beaumont, Jefferson County, was uh, uh, got the rain after the Houston area did in Galveston County and Sedoria County. They got kind of the backlash. The storm came down and hit us, and then it came up, mm -hmm. went back and hit them. We actually have a an email set up. If they've got web, they've got email service, tx14, that's tx14, dot help, H-E-L-P, at mail dot house dot gov if they could somehow get that word to us or call my office at 202-225-2831 you know we can we can make sure that we know they're there people know they're there we can get somebody there as quickly as possible we've been doing this almost all week for people congressman randy weber so, uh, that's his district um i'm sorry sir to cut you off is there one more thing you wanted to add well you know search and rescue is our priority we want to get people out get right. their pets we want to get them dry. We want to get them to a place where they have food and shelter and medic, medicine, medication if they need it or medical attention. And so we're working as fast as we can, and we're in this together. And so, you know, help is on the way. I would just encourage them to hang on because help is on the way.